May I ask you this, uh, what was your failure process that um, you know you always uh, have a memory of and that taught you a lot about life? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I would have to say, um, I think in business and entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. um, there were many times where I would have a gut feeling about somebody or something and I didn't listen to it. And I relearned that lesson again and again. And uh, I think in business, our emotions get in the way of things. Yes. Um, and you know, I love people um, and I care for people, but sometimes because of that over love and care, I, I don't make the right decisions that I should be making at times. Mm. And so, um, now does that mean I don't care for people? No, I always will care. But knowing me, I'm now more wise, I get more counsel, I double check with someone, what do you think about this? I get more of that wisdom counsel around me. Um, and so there are some things in my control that I failed, there are some things out of my control that I failed in. Uh, but you know, especially in the entrepreneurial world, you get used to failing. Yes. You understand that money comes, money goes, money comes back, money goes again, money comes back. Um, it's, it's the tides of, of the ocean, um, but you must seize the moment and mm -hmm. trust your gut. And, uh, and obviously, as an entrepreneur, I did a lot of things before I was married, but uh, now being married to my wife, I, I want my wife's, if you will, blessing or, or approval on, on something if I want to do new, you know. Um, she may not always understand it. She might be a little bit more scared than I. But what I've also learned in marriage is do everything together. Yes. I really believe that that's a, that's a good foundation for a strong marriage, especially when you're a, an aggressive entrepreneur like myself. Oh, you sound like an obedient husband. <laughs> I, I, you can ask my wife that. You're making me blush. But, you know, we, we do what we can when, when, you know, I'm even busy to make sure that, that we even give our friendship a chance, you know, outside of four children. Um, and even now going through the process of starting paperwork to even adopt a child uh, in America um, and starting the paperwork, um, life never slows down. You know, yes. many people say, oh, when it slows down, it doesn't slow down. It only gets faster. And so the priority and time management of such is, you know, if my, if my family and my marriage is priority number one, mm. then I make sure that that reflects on my calendar and I still take my wife out on a date every single week that I can. And so, was it so crazy busy the last six months? Yeah, it's been crazy. Did I get the weekly date? No, I didn't get that. Did we have times of escaping? Yeah, we did. It was beautiful. But uh, as quickly as you can, with the seasons and ebb and flows of the world, uh, <laughs> do what you can to fight for your marriage. Fight for your, uh, your wife's adoration. Uh, fight for that time with her. Oh, I think uh, you should train people how to be right husband also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So coming to the gut feeling, yes, uh, as an entrepreneur, yes, it is definitely different. But when it comes to love, romance, yeah. relationships, you know, our gut says something, but we always try to entertain what's in front of us. So how do you see these uh, current generation relationships because they're on next minute they're off yeah well it depends how old you are and you know what kind of family you were raised in and I've seen some great arranged marriages be very successful and so I'm not here to judge but I'll say it this way um, you know you you must be aware of what you're feeling and making sure that what you're feeling is reciprocated and they don't love you for who you're going to be or how you're going to change or what you can give them they love you for you Yes. And I think a ground of friendship is, is something very important to know what do they think of themselves and what do they think of you. But, but understanding the philosophies of what is identity, what is purpose, why are we here, um, what's your dream of dreams, getting to know each other. And so, sure, you know, many times uh, people ask me, was it love at first sight with my wife? And it actually was. It was for her and it was for me. But that doesn't mean like, you know, we're getting married now next week. Yeah. Um, but we got to know each other and uh, 12 months of friendship. Um, and then I popped the question. She said yes. And six months later, we, we got engaged. And so 
Um, you know, love is love is uh, complicated. Yes. Nothing, not one story can help another so much because every story is unique. Correct. So complicated. It is. It is. <laughs>